Hello and welcome to Members on the Mic with the Troy Chamber of Commerce, where we connect with Troy Chamber members as they give us a glimpse into their company and share some of the business lessons they've learned along the way. Hi everyone, I'm Tara thompson Cusack, President and CEO of the Troy Chamber of Commerce, and I'm joined today by the lovely and amazingly talented co-host, Sheila Dunstead, our Vice President. Hi everyone. First, I'd like to take a moment to thank our presenting sponsor, Tryon Solutions. Stay tuned for our very first commercial break where you can learn how you can rely on Tryon. So Sheila, we have a great guest lined up today. Why don't you give the introductions? I would love to. Today we're meeting with Dr. Reggie Segal, Doctor of Chiropractor DC with HealthSource Chiropractic and Progressive Rehab. We want to learn a little more what that DC stands for because it's super impressive. (laughs) Reggie has been in practice for over 24 years in Troy, Michigan. He's married to his wonderful wife, Lisa, for 21 years and is a father of two beautiful 15-year-old twins, Rohan and Rhea. Welcome, Dr. Segal. Thank you so much for having me today. Appreciate that. So 15-year-olds, wow. Yes, yeah. twins. Yeah. yeah. A lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the beginning, but now it yeah, is. It, yeah, it works yeah. itself through after yeah, like yeah, that age yeah, seven it, probably yeah, yeah. timeline. So. Absolutely. Seven years was uh, critical, but now it's uh, now it's fun times. Yeah, I have twin nephews, so I get okay. the like, oh, oh, they're both crying. Oh, oh, okay. So yes, understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So thanks so much for joining us. You're I welcome. Mean, You're I welcome. I guess to get things started, um, I'm the girl as I'm slouching. I, it's funny. Every time I'm ra- around a chiropractor, I'm like, okay, I'm <laughs> back and I'm good. Um, we always have stress in our back. Um, we're getting neck pain. We're we're at office desks all day. Correct. I mean, just to get things started off, I guess, what are some of the things? Sheila's, I can see Sheila in my <laughs> peripheral trying to do this, but... What are some of the things we can do at home or work to kind of alleviate this or just, I guess, make ourselves a little bit better and deal with a little less pain? Yeah, that's very, that's a great question. Um, what we're finding actually in um, obviously post COVID is a lot of people are working from home than they normally wouldn't have. Mm-hmm. So now we're finding a lot of people, you know, working from their dining table or their kitchen table. So those types of things, are, they're not very ergonomically healthy. So my couch with my little like lap desk is not smart? Correct. Okay, go ahead. Correct, correct. <laughs> Only speaking relatively to your spine and, and your stress. Yes, yes. So we always want to main, maintain good ergonomics when we're, when we're sitting at home, obviously having a good chair. Um, good posture is very important. You know, that helps reduce a lot of stress off our spine and our, off our necks and lower backs. So that's the first and foremost. Um, other than, you know, releasing stress, you know, at home, which we advise a lot of our patients is, you know, th- simple things like stretching is very normal. Mm-hmm. You know, sitting is the new smoking, as you've heard many times. Yeah. Yeah, actually, actually yeah. Yeah, because yeah, that's what it people definitely do. definitely has the health ramifications for sure. Absolutely. So we need to move. And, uh, you know, and I, I, I basically try to help patients understand, you know, every 30, 45 minutes, especially when you're at home, get up and stretch. Get up and move. You know, help circulate the legs and helps, uh, you know, the muscles kind of relax a little bit more. So exercise does kind of play a key in this as well. Obviously, stretching is is going to be more helpful, but do you also recommend exercise or what are those things that we would look at? Absolutely. And one of the important things that we utilize in our clinics as well is mobility tools. Mm-hmm. So things like foam rolling, you know, people have heard of that before. Yeah. Those are really cool things that we, that we help educate our patients on things that they're doing at home. There's things called rock balls. There's things that you can help. Oh, those with. are those. those yes, yeah, yes. those are great. Yeah, they're really cool, and then some of them vibrate. So they're. Oh. Yeah, they're. Re- I gotta step up my game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've never had a vibrating <laughs> foam roller, Sheila's laughing too. <laughs> it's it's kind of very interesting, um, but um, the whole point is it increases circulation, it helps relax the muscles, so it helps improve mobility. Yeah. That's the major issue is if we improve mobility within their spine our nervous system functions better. Well, and if we're tensing up, like that's the piece, I can feel like my back tensing up. So I know when it's happening. So trying to do these steps to kind of at least calm it down right. is helpful in the long run. Right. And not only, you know, we talk about mental health as well, because that's a part of when you're feeling stressed, you're mentally drained. Mm-hmm. And so you're less productive. So that's some of the important things that stretching, exercise, you know, nutritional supplementation, those types of things that, these are things that you can do daily at home that can help you. Yeah. So- we talked about a little bit earlier, Doctor of Chiropractor DC. Explain that a little bit. We looked it up. It's very <laughs> we impressive. We were excited about yes. it, so we wanted to talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. DC is obviously Doctor of Chiropractic, and, um, you know, that schooling was, uh, I started back in uh, 19, graduated in 1999, but 
Um, it's pretty much a pre-med, mm-hmm. you know, when you're looking it's at the, to, to mm-hmm. get into chiropractic school. And then chiropractic school to medical school are very similar in the amount of hours, actually. Um, there are actually more hours studied in chiropractic school than, than medicine. And then what the differentiation is in chiropractic school, we go into private clinic, but in medicine, they go into residency. So there's a continued education for them as, as far as their degree. But for as the doctor of chiropractic, you're looking anywhere between three to five years, you know, on the educational part of that in clinic and then an out clinic patient uh, facility as well. So a lot of schooling involved. There's a lot of schooling. Yes, there is. (laughs) You're like saying it with a sigh. Yes, then that most people do not know of, Mm -hmm. right? And so that's an important part to the education of what we do. Well, it makes you the experts. Correct. So, and I think that's it. Education is key in making sure we know what's going on and how we're helping our bodies. So it's nice to know we can be with someone that we can trust because they put in the time, they're, they're passionate about the knowledge they receive to share it with our community. Right, right. And that's actually what people don't know. We're portal of entry healthcare providers. So things like physical therapy always needs a referral. The reason with the doctor degree, it allows us to see patients, to diagnose them, to oh. treat them without a referral. Because we are portal of entry healthcare providers. Well, and it also dispels some myths about chiropractors. I think that's a very important point that people should know. You are a doctor. Correct. Mm-hmm. You know what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just as there's a doctor of optometry, yeah. doctor yeah. of, you know, dentistry, that's a doctor of chiropractic. <laughs> So, well, uh, don't worry. We're not going to go to you for dental implants. We'll be fine. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, we talk about mental health. And we talk about chiropractic medicine. What are some of the things that kind of correlate together? What can we do to offset this and working with chiropractic health and mental health? That's a great question. I mean, one of the important things that we do know is that when the spine actually moves properly, it's very um, correlated with our nervous system. So when our spine, when stress is being put on the body, it affects our mental Mm -hmm. capacity, our mental mood. So those are important things that we look at and we help educate patients on the fact that a proper, healthy, moving spine helps, helps basically the body function better. And mental health, as we know, coming out of the pandemic is a very, very important thing that, that has affected a lot of people because the social environment that we used to have in a workplace where it was very community related. Now everyone's in their home doing it by themselves or via mm-hmm. online. So the stress that that puts on the body is when the, when our body breaks down, that's when our body affects the stress of, of mental health and affects mm-hmm. the stress of our joints and our body and our immunity. So they're very well correlated. So when you have a higher functioning nervous system where there's less pain and stress, more mobility, activity, health, you're mentally more prone to function better. Well, and I think it would also work with focus. Because I, if I'm in pain, it's hard to focus. You're, you're going to be like, oh, just kind of readjusting yourself every few minutes. And it's, it's hard to, and that affects my mental health if I can't get focused. So it, there's, I was like, that probably happens a lot. But <laughs> Right. No, you're absolutely right. Just recently, I just had a patient have the same, I mean, he's a CEO of a company and he just moved from California to Troy. And um, he's, you know, he's very stressed and he's now local where he's sitting a lot. And he came in the other day and he's saying, I, I just want to let you know that I, I don't feel pain, but I know when my body breaks down at 1 a.m. that physically my mind shuts off and I'm used to continue to keep working. So my productivity is down. You know, my mental yeah. focus is down. You know, not so much pain physically, but he's feeling that drainage because his body isn't functioning well. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Well, guys, I think it's a good moment to take a quick break and hear a word from our presenting sponsor, Trion Solutions. We'll be right back. I'm Joe Vacari, President and CEO of the Joe Vacari Restaurant Group, which encompasses 24 restaurants throughout the country. Trion's able to provide for our employees health insurance, 401ks, vacation time. All of that helps us compete against larger companies for top talent. Happy employees make for great service, and that's what our restaurants are known for. That's why we rely on Tryon. You can always rely on Tryon. Welcome back to Members on the Mic with the Troy Chamber of Commerce. We are excited to learn a little bit more about our back health and what that does for us. So I'm going to pass it back to Sheila. All right. So latest trends. What are they in the chiropractic world? What do our listeners need to learn more about? 
Well, one of the important things that I just recently read, um, and that was from the Journal of Medical Association, saying that actually there's been an increase and in rise in chiropractic service amongst Americans. Hmm. So the trend is is in a positive direction. Um, I I believe you probably have heard the cliche: people are sick and tired of being sick and tired. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's kind of the trend with, um, unfortunately, in the medical route. A lot of people are, you know, you know, the opioid crisis was there. You know, we're, we're getting past that, but it's still prevalent. So one of the important things that people are now starting to understand that, you know, taking care of my health in a natural way is more beneficial than me medicating myself. Mm-hmm. You know, chronic illnesses, chronic pain, you know, those types of issues have been really on the rise. And, and the fortunate part of chiropractic actually doing the forefront of the opioid crisis and being a part of that has really made a difference. And so what we're seeing is a lot of increase, you know, at least from 10% to at least 14% of Americans now utilizing chiropractic, which is in a good way. Yeah. Because we're not only promoting chiropractic, but we're promoting exercise. We're promoting, promoting nutrition. We're promoting, you know, physical health. health. You know, those are important things. And, and, and mind you, we need medicine. That's very important. And that's one of the things I really want, like to portray to a lot of people. People think, Chiropractic is negative. Get medicine? No, not at all. We need it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a vital point to keep our to keep our, keep our country moving and keep people alive. Uh, it's the it's the chronic illnesses that we look at that you know that chiropractic can definitely do a great job at helping people. Well, full honesty, I was scared of your field. Um, it was about two years ago that I had my first chiropractic visit, but it was funny. One of the reasons I did it is because I was so tired of popping so many Motrins. And I was like, this cannot be good for my long-term health. And like my husband is, he's got, he went forever. And he's like, just go. You have nothing to be scared about. I'm like, I don't want them cracking me. Right, right. But it it really changed my life because I I do think like the fear was gone. I, I have full trust in it. And I think that's the piece of like saying, I got relief and I'm not having a whole vial of Motrin every day. So right, it, it right. does make a difference. And I think like dispelling the fears that it's, it. I I was very surprised, but I was scared of you. Full scared. That, I, you know, totally transparent. <laughs> and I believe that. And we get that a lot. You know, I've been practicing for 24 years. So people come in with that fear and mm-hmm. that's the first, first line of defense. There is to help them understand that we are safe, mm-hmm. that we are effective. And that there's many different ways to treat the spine yeah. other than the typical popping or yep. cracking. that Which you was hear. terrifying the first time. So. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. And I understand that. And so that's the importance of, you know, diversifying our practice with our doctors to help teach them that there's different techniques that we utilize for different age groups as well. Yeah. So that's and, and working within their fears because it's right. not that easy probably to pop or crack somebody who is so stressed out and holding themselves like this, not... Not right. the easiest, but there are other ways. And that's the importance of just giving people the understanding, the why behind the what before yeah. it's done. You know, people come in typically with, you know, some chiropractic offices where they're just lying on the table and go at it, which that's not what we do. We spend our time to educate the patient, to understand the patient first, what their fears are, what their expectations are. And then we like to drive towards, here's a treatment plan that would probably work best for you. Love it. You talk about plans and, and bringing people in and time. Time's so valuable to everyone. Um, what can you tell us about the advanced treatments for disc disorders? Because we know there's at least three of them that I can't pronounce. <laughs> right. And the use of, without using surgery or medication, I mean, obviously with people having to take time off, family obligations and those kind of things, if there's things they can do without having to go that drastic I think our listeners would love to learn more about that. I'm so glad that you asked that question, Sheila, because that's a, such an important point which differentiates us from your average chiropractor because we do specialize in a lot of disc disorders. And if anybody has had any disc disorders in the past, it is not a comfortable lifestyle. Mm-mm. It is a lifestyle of injections. It's a lifestyle of possible surgeries and obviously the opioids and the narcotics because it's a very painful disorder. So typically to break it down, a lot of people that do suffer from disc disorders, it's either usually three types. It's either a degenerative process. I was going to help you with that. (laughs) That's the word. Where just time breaks down and the disc starts to break down, the vertebrae start to break down and it creates compression. Then the other disorders are typically through traumas are bulging discs. You've heard Mm -hmm. of that. Yeah. Where the disc can irritate that nerve 
and that's that constant pressure where the muscle is constantly tight and they massage it and they stretch it and they do everything and it doesn't go away because it's not a bone issue. It's no, it's now a disc issue issue. So that becomes a bulging disc and then people wait and wait and wait and wait. And then unfortunately it becomes herniated and that's the nasty one. Nobody wants a herniated disc. Well, that's will full force of that mm. n disc is now compressing the nerve. And unfortunately, sometimes it is a surgical intervention that needs to happen. So the ways and the newest trends that we've developed our, our clinics is there's an advanced form of treatment called non-surgical spinal decompression. There's a tool that, that helps the chiropractor not only adjust the spine to help improve the mobility, but most importantly, to treat the disc. And that's a huge part where we've saved thousands of patients from back surgery or neck surgery because of utilizing that tool. In conjunction, we also use a class four laser. And the class four laser is the highest level of laser therapeutic benefit that can help heal the disc and help decrease pain. So again, other than the chiropractic adjustment. So a laser, so no surgery, no drugs, just go right in there. That's the major, Amazing. major point is that that's, there is options and the people don't know that. No. There are options other than surgical because there's surgical decompression. Yeah. We're doing the non-surgical decompression. Is that one, of, I th I'm not sure if I've ever seen it before, but is it one of, the, it, like you kind of lay down on it and it's kind of stretching you a bit or how does that work? Great question. Um, people have heard of traction. That's kind of the 1970s way of treating things. Traction is done on what we call a linear curve, mm -hmm. which is pulls your spine and there's a weight induced yeah. onto that. Decompression is done on what we call a logarithmic curve, goes up and down. So this is all digital. Oh. This is a this is this is all digital, so there's no weights or someone using their hands. True decompression is done on a machine that is definitely strapped in that helps reduce that stress off the disc off a logarithmic curve. And it's all generated by the computer depending on your weight and depending on your size and depending on the condition. So can anyone get that or do you have to have a disc problem? Because yeah. that sounds magical. It does sound magical <laughs> and I love it too. Uh, like, I'm not going to lie. I get on at least once a month. I love it. And it's good one of those stretching yeah. things. But typically we're only prescribing it to patients that have some sort of disc That's type of disorder that we can verify on an MRI or on an x-ray or their physical examination that that's what they need. Yeah. If they don't need decompression, we don't prescribe it. How long does that take? The, the, the protocol typically can take at least six to eight weeks, you know, depending, but the treatment in itself can be anywhere between, you know, 15 to 20 minutes for the treatment. Oh gosh, that's and that's it. done literally typically every 48 hours because the goal is to, we need pressure off the disc. Yeah. And so there's consistency in conjunction with the chiropractic adjustment, with the decompression, with the class four laser, and then st stabilizing it with our, with our physical therapy department, our progressive rehab to strengthen now the muscle so it cements it in the right position. I was like, we're now fascinated yeah. and I want yeah. to stop the podcast and just yeah. go visit you now. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I guess uh, to wrap things up a little bit, spring and summer's coming. Yes. So people are going outside. There's more activity. What are some of the trends you're starting to see as yes, spring rolls you, up? You know that long <laughs> know war that you happening. haven't started up yeah. in, uh, you know, <laughs> in a while or that weed whacker and you're pulling that and oh, you're yeah. pulling and you're getting it and then you start digging because you want to plant all the new trees. Were you and watching the, us this yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And that's kind of the trends that ends up happening, you know, where it's like, you know, I haven't done this in such a long time and I haven't stretched and I want to get to exercise, but I, you know, I've been yeah. a snowbird, I've been in the house and now you get out. So I highly suggest, <laughs> you know, get out there and start doing some stretches and getting some light walk and some exercise in there before you start getting into that. And then we get into the water sports, you know, and the legs start oh, opening yeah. up and then there's accidents that happen for that. So be safe on that. And that your baseball avenue. kids. Your... And all the athletics are now <laughs> yeah. starting up. You know, the spring is in. You know, my son's playing spring hockey. And then ah, it's going to go boy. into summer. So, yeah, a lot of the athletics are starting to start up. So that's an important part to, um, you know, taking care of your spine as well. So is spring, summer the busy season for you? Or do you have a busy season? Is you it know, always a, a busy question. season? It's, it's kind of like, you know, when you get in the winter, it's the shoveling and the car yeah. accidents. And then, so every season is a little bit different type of injury <laughs> that we're injury. seeing, <laughs> but it's very consistent when it comes with the spine. Yeah. You know, unfortunately we do put in sleeping and our work and everything, all those other things really creates that uh, discomfort in our body. Interesting. 
<laughs> All right. So obviously we've talked about a lot of different things. We've talked a lot about work and stress and, and uh, mental health. What's something our listeners listening today can take away after this podcast from you that they can do maybe at their desk or at home just to help get that one that one stretch that will help at least for a few minutes. Yeah. Take yeah. Take everything yeah, away. Yeah. I, I mean, one of the important things, and I kind of prelude to that, is if you haven't done any of that, is using a foam roller. I mean, you can look on it. You could YouTube it. It's mm-hmm. super simple and easy. But the most important thing, Sheila, is just get up and walk. Get up and move. That's the important part. And and I highly encourage people is if they are thinking of chiropractic or wanting to know what is it that I can do, what we offer is a checkup. And that's the important, like going to your dentist. You got a problem, you go get a checkup. It's not that you're getting care, it's a checkup. Mm -hmm. And so why we're so good at what we do is that we offer that to patients is we don't know if we can help you. And if we can help you, we're going to let you know that. And if we can, we're going to let you know that too. So come in and get your spine checked. If you are hurting, don't wait. Because those nasty disc disorders that we talked about, that's what ends up happening. Because that's the way that the natural body starts to break down with. Wow, that is so incredibly interesting. And now I truly need to get fixed. I really do. So Dr. Segal, thank you so much for joining us today. You are welcome. I hope you helped fix people's pain in the necks, pain in the backs, and they can <laughs> head on over to Health Source to visit you. I will do my best. <laughs> thank you so much, everyone. Special thanks to our presenting sponsor, Tryon Solutions. And if you'd like to information on joining the chamber or for upcoming events, go to troychamber.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Thank Bye, you. everyone. <laughs>